Shout out Music Connection Magazine. I'm Christine Devine. I never thought I'd be on Music Connection Magazine, but let's connect. I don't know if I really produce music videos. I kind of think that I am producing people. So I started out, I met a young man from my Foster Care Wednesdays child program who had become a teenager and his family told me he was rapping. Okay, that's nice, they have me a CD, that's fine. Uh, down the road, we did another Wednesday's child adoption segment with a little girl who wanted to sing. So we said, oh, we'll bring her into a studio for her dream day. It was with Yo-Yo, the rapper Yo-Yo. It was so much fun, it just felt so comfortable that I said to the engineer, I said, could I do a rap? He said, okay. So I went in and I did a rap myself. And then I liked it so much, I actually wrote a rap song about what it's like to be in the news business and really all the violence that we see and the trauma that we see. And I came in and I rapped it. And I played it for a colleague and he said, you're so gonna get fired if you drop that rap song. So I said, well, who can do my rap song for me just for nostalgia purposes? So I called this rapper Nexus from before, Wednesday's Child, and said, hey kid, can you come down and just drop my rap for me? Well, he went into the studio and he was so good that the producer and the engineer and I looked at each other and said, we'll work with you and help, help you kind of launch in a bigger way. So that was the start of it. Nice. So Wednesday's Child is a segment that airs on Fox 11 News that helps kids get adopted from foster care. Uh, it's the hardest to place kids, older, or large sibling groups, special needs. We give them that last big voice to say, hey world, there are kids out there that need homes. So from there, this kind of an entourage started coming around with the project that we were doing with Nexus. We were just, Nexus was going out with me and doing charity events and performing. And so the program started building that way on my own. Uh, I needed an R&B singer to soften the rap and that's where I found Lotus at the gym. I found Lotus because I'd asked him to listen to one of the Nexus songs. And he said, I'm a singer, or when I need a singer, I'll call Lotus. So it started growing and growing and growing, so we call it, we, we call it Team WC, We Can West Coast. <laughs> um, it's just kind of young people who have their gift, whatever it is, and I asked them to do community service with it, and so it's kind of a win-win for them, win-win for me, because now young people appreciate the message if it comes from young people with music. Um, I say that I mentor young people. Right. Um, the young people that happen to be artists that are in the entourage. Uh, Lotus Jackson, Lotus with an I. Uh, Britt J, she was on American Idol, uh, season three. Uh, there's a young rapper, teenager, Leela Brown. And we've all gone out together and spoken and they performed at Juvenile Hall, at a domestic violence shelter, at foster care benefits. It's branched out, we work with a rock band, All Else Fails 562, and their video was really neat because it preserved a graffiti exhibit that was on the wall, and shortly after the video was done, it was all painted over. Oh, wow. So their video kind of captured that moment with these graffiti artists, and now it's gone, except in our video. Right. Well, I like to say that I'm not helping people with the industry, I'm helping people be quality human beings, uh, and fulfilling their, their gift and understanding their gift. So it could be other things besides music. It's just, what is your gift and can the world see your gift? And then with your gift, can you then bring it to the community or be a voice for others or give back with the gift? Instagram, Facebook, uh, my Instagram name is Divine News, at Divine News, D-E-V-I-N-E, News.